Hello everyone, Sirik here again, and I'm continuing my run of Salt and Sanctuary. And also remembering the control the controls, since I just got back from playing a game with very different controls. Okay. Okay, that's E. There we go. That's attack. This is gonna go well. This is gonna go so well. Right. So, from what I remember of where this particular sanctuary is, I can go left and fight the one boss that's to the left. No, that's eat. I keep pressing eat because that was attack in the game I just finished playing. Um, so expect to see me munching on this hearty roll a whole lot for a while. Alright, I forgot the locations of these guys. Oh man. Okay. Well, let's eat some more for real this time. Yeah, I'm gonna try fighting this boss since he's like right here. And I forget if he drops anything of actual value. That's a trap. Nope. That is not attack me. That is eat. Uh, oh, more of them, huh? And I just took a whole bunch of unnecessary damage from accidentally eating hearty rolls. Oh well. We're gonna be fighting this guy. I don't plan to win this time because I just used up a ton of healing items unnecessarily on the way here, but I want to kind of get familiar with his pattern. His pattern is mostly spamming very large area attacks. And I think it's mostly about just timing your invincibility frames. Trying to get some room so that I can actually eat this roll. Oops, that's not working. Yeah, I just need to time my dodge roll better, I think. No? Okay, never mind. You don't seem to be able to dodge through that. Right now I'm mostly trying to figure out how to actually deal with a good chunk of his attacks. Alright, they use up money whenever they revive me. I don't really need money for anything right now though. Money in this game is always kind of a bit... eh. Like you use it for a few things and then you largely just ignore it for a lot of other things. Which is fine since um... It would be kind of frustrating if money was actually important. Because unlike your, um, you know, unlike your salt, you can't just get back when you, um, lose a portion of it. It's just gone. Okay, let's actually just kill you. Oh, right! You, they come from behind. That's where. I'm getting the feeling that this weapon's not going to be good for the, um, boss. So I'm going to switch over to my whip. I think I want a faster weapon for this guy. Ideally a ranged weapon, but my only ranged weapon doesn't really deal great damage, so... Yeah, look at that not great damage. Heal. I'm just having a lot of trouble getting away from him in time because he's such a big target. Okay, I got my salt back. That's the main thing I care about. I think I need to jump that. I completely forget how to fight this guy. Nope, that's death. Yeah, 
Could also always just come back to this guy later. Like, he is very tanky. Regardless of anything else, he does have a lot of health. Um, so what if I take the spear? Let's see, the Pale Charmer's attack reach. If I just get attack power up, I think this one's attack power. Let's try the spear with added attack power. Probably not the best thing for dealing with the enemies on the way to him, but that's okay. Oh no, they kind of get obliterated by the spear just fine. Sort of. Now, due to the way the walls form, I think if I just don't follow that one to the right, it won't follow me into the boss room or anything. I hope. I hope it hasn't, like, managed to make it onto the side of the fog gate, or whatever you want to call it. Okay, no. It's not coming. Eh, definitely good damage with this attack up. Oh, I just lost all those, uh, all that salt. Well, let's maybe not fight him right now. I'll come back to him. Probably not good to start on a boss fight anyway, where I'm still trying to get used to the controls and whatnot. Oh, there's an item right here, huh? Link of Fire and Sky. I... What do you do? I think that you're magic, because Fire and Sky is like one of the... Yeah, nullifies elemental imbalance. Right, that's like a thing that can happen with um, fire and lightning magic if you use one of them too much. I forgot that, like, you need to balance your um, magic spell elements in this game. Let's see, if I go up... Right, I didn't go up here. I saw some stuff up here and then turned around. That's right. Deal with this thing. Let's see, the whip might be better here. Really weird playing with our shield. I'm so used to having a shield. Oh, he's dead. I think. Oh, there's a lot of those guys, so. Oh wow, he actually hit me from over there, huh? Kind of want to just go here? I don't think they can get to me. Uh, I know that there's going to be more of them coming in. This is way too empty for it to not have some enemies spawning in. Like maybe if I go right here. Okay, so this is a boss because there's a candelabra. So what's over here? I don't I don't quite remember what part of the game this is. There's one thing that I'm thinking is, but it's too early for that, I'm pretty sure. So Okay, this is sort of the guy I'm thinking of, but not quite. It's the false chester. Ow. And he hurts. He's really fast, wow. He's kind of the opposite of the other boss. Much smaller target, which with much faster attacks. Not really that much damage per attack, though. As you can see, I've been hit a whole lot and really haven't suffered much for it. Oh, that went well. Ugh, my attack speed. I'm so used to having a faster attack speed on my weapons. Okay, I need to heal. I don't remember this guy's patterns at all. He's very stabby.
He seems to like doing double stabs. Getting that um, range up charm would have probably been more useful than the attack up charm for this particular fight. As it stands, I'm kind of just tanking him fine. Oh, that's not good though. I really need that particular heal. I'm dead. Yeah. Okay, now that I know what to expect, it's not a bad fight. I think I might also swap back to the sword. Just for the time being. I do like this um, spear, but this sword is pretty good. Hey, how is the pitchfork compared to this um, spear? Bad. Okay. It has better scaling, but that's about it. I really need new weapons. These are all still really low tier weapons. That's not the way to go. What am I doing? This is the way to go. I'm really worried that I missed a whip somewhere, but I don't think so because I just got the um, tier 1 version of the whip I already have, um, like, pretty recently. So I think the um, later whips are just kind of late game-ish. Or, not really late game-ish, but more late game than you would expect, I guess is how I'd put it. Uh, I wouldn't mind dropping down here. I'm at risk of losing the salt that the um, false jester has, but I think that's okay. Crystal Sphere. Don't know what that does. Uh, what does it do? Oh, okay. It converts a sanctuary into your current one, even if it belongs to someone else. Can drop down even more over here. Plated band. Okay. And this is new. I should probably heal up. Because I don't know what's coming. Oh! A light spell that I'm not going to be using. That would be very handy if I was a cleric. But I'm not. So, oh well to that. And then all that's just the way I came from. Oh, I guess I couldn't actually make it back up. So, gotta do some backtracking, unless I want to use a um, backtracking item that I kind of don't want to use, so... Yeah, the sword is just so good for these guys. I don't really want to rest at the Sanctuary. I'm okay on health, and all the enemies I killed remain dead. So, no real point in um, fighting them again right now. Like, I only used one healing item, and it's one that I would have been using by this point regardless. Oh. Okay, just gonna run past this guy. Oh! He's following me. Cool. You need to die then. He dropped his visor. How nice of him. I could give myself an enchantment. Um, I think. Uh, let's see. Do I? Which enchantment do I want of the lot, though? Yeah, those are all spell slots. I have a pack of salt. Um, so what's the difference between that and Blessed Page? Apply to your weapon to... Oh, this is just Splash, right. Um, these are actual application things. Pitchfire... 
Let's see. Okay, pitch fire is the one to apply to my weapon. I'm going to go ahead and use that. Um, yeah. Let's use it. Don't know if this guy has a fire weakness or what, but any elemental up is probably better than nothing. Oh crap, that actually hit. Okay, got my salt back. Nope, I'm getting greedy with trying to get hits in. That's gonna be his lunge. So that's my cue to attack. Not that much. Okay, and if the lunge actually connects, I never have enough time to hit him before he starts going again. So, it seems like the best bet is to just lure him into a lunge. Man, that fire upgrade really didn't help as much as I was hoping it would. Yep. Oh, okay, that sword heavy is nice, but way too long. Okay, he turns around. That's a lunge. Crap. Lunge? Yep, lunge. Turn around. Okay, I pretty much have this fight. There we go. Got kind of careless at the end, but paid off, so I'm fine with that. He didn't drop anything other than some money, it looks like. And a whole bunch of salt, of course. Oh, no, we got his ear. Which, I forget if that's useful for anything. Oh! Okay, um... This is where I was thinking it was. I thought that this took a lot longer to reach. It probably took me longer to reach the first time, I guess. So we found the sanctuary. It's just a generic one, though. So can't level up here or anything. But hey, it's a checkpoint. I believe we'll be meeting the actual Chester now. Yep, there he is. He's on the ceiling. Man, this took me so much more time to reach on my first playthrough. It's been a while, but I guess I'm just doing better at this game than I used to. Let's say yes, sure. Yeah, we're getting branded by fire. And we're also opening this to get his stuff. So, there's these things. And now we can do this. So, this is one thing that, like, other than, like, the um, perspective and everything, um, this is one thing that legitimately separates this game in a pretty big way from, like, Dark Souls games. Um, in that you do get these sort of permanent movement upgrades more like in a standard Castlevania or Metroid game. Like, this is just straight up something that I did not have the capacity to do before, rather than a path opening up. And we opened a shortcut to, um... Where is this? Oh, the very start. Let's see. With this guy. Does he have anything new to sell? No, just the same as always. Nothing bad, just nothing great.
I could keep going this way to get back to my um, sanctuary, I suppose, since it's kind of right there. I just need to deal with the fluty guy. This guy. Who isn't really much of a threat at this point. He's annoying, but the biggest threat he poses is the potential to knock me into one of these pits. I really would like to cash in all the salt, though. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Level up. Two levels. Not a lot, but not awful either. Uh, to your skill. So this is the route to go if you want to become a cleric. I could potentially do cleric because I normally don't do cleric. I usually do mage as far as magic goes. But I think I'm going to just avoid magic entirely for the time being. Um, so this is the path I could go down to continue with hunter. And this is the path for ranger, sort of. See, Hunter rank 4 is right here, and then 5 is right here, and then that would be it for Hunter. It's a bunch of levels. 4 and 5 alone are 9 levels. Um, you know, it's pretty good. You're still getting stat points out of it. I kind of want to get class 2 pole arms, though, I think. I don't care about heavy mace fire. Um... Or even class to um, sword fire to start using great swords. Great swords are something I normally don't use. Um, and swords do have a lot of variety. So I could do that because I do have a great sword right now. Uh, it's a bit of a tough call. Yeah, yeah, sure. Let's get class two sword fire. Just hop all around the board. And now let's see. I can now use this thing. God, that's huge. Um, let's see how it actually plays. I'm really not used to using big weapons in um, this game or the Souls games. Oh, there's an enemy there. Okay, so this is the normal heavy. This is the normal slash combo. Man, that just kills your stamina. So that's slash heavy. Slash slash heavy. Oh, slash slash heavy is that. Interesting. I don't know if that third slash is actually heavy or what. It might be that I don't have enough stamina for a true heavy attack, so it's just doing a normal slash. I kind of like this sword, though. It's faster than I expected it to be. And it has really nice range. I'm probably going to give up on bothering with um, crossbows for the most part because they're not really good. Um, unless you start getting the elemental bolts, which even though you don't need that much money in this game, elemental bolts do get kind of pricey after a while. There we go, that's what I want to do. Oh wait, no, I can't actually get up there from here. I need to go around the weird way. There we go. Let's see. I can't pick that up until I find a crystal to knock myself down. Okay, now I can pick it up. So there's a whole bunch of those stones all over the place. Um, most notably the one that was in front of the castle that I wasn't able to get forward um, with due to it being there. But now I can. Now I can enter the castle.
Oh, and there's a lot of traps here. Okay, right, good. I managed to get over all of them. If I remember right, this bandit's way has, like, the gimmick here is that there's traps all over the place. Like, look, there's one on that platform, too. Even though I see it, it's going to be a real pain to get to. I'm waiting for this wood to respawn. Please don't touch it. Okay. Bronze key. Terrifying giant. Okay. Oh, just this guy. Whatever. Oh, I got poisoned. Oh, I got poisoned real bad. <laughs> I got double poisoned. <laughs> Wasn't expecting him to do the poison attack twice in a row. <laughs> Oof, okay. That cost me a bit. But hey, bronze key. I don't know if that was the key that I needed for the, um, thing, like, kind of right here. Okay. Go away, bat and scythe guy. Yeah, um... Part of the reason why I'm also doing Sword Mastery is, um... From what I remember my previous playthrough of this game... The... If you want to call it an issue... Depending on your build, I guess. Um, this game's really sword happy. In that, like, swords just straight up get. There's just way more swords than any other weapon type. And they tend to have a bit more variety in terms of, like, range and attack and all that. So, going for the sword nodes is kind of just really good. Unless you really like a specific other weapon type. Oh, right, I want to check out this store right here. Oh, wait, no, this is just the um, shrine. I need to go a bit further to the right. I forgot that shrine was there already. So, I guess it's a good thing that I checked out. That Cyclops enemy or whatever is still down there. But I think having this great sword isn't enough on its own. Okay, that's not what I needed. See, there's also one of those um, upside down stones in the very first area by the Sodden Knight, I believe. I don't remember if there's any in the um, Village of Smiles or in the um, Forest. Was it Forest of Flies, I think? Oops. So it's on this lower path anyway. Probably horrible stuff. This is mostly an area to drop down to after you fail in the upper areas, I'm pretty sure. Now oh, there's an item. Ooh, that's a caster set if I ever saw one. Oh, you're nasty. God, that hurts. Let's not... Yeah, I'm really not used to... Like, this is not actually that slow of an attack, but it's slower than what I'm used to. I might stick with the whip for this guy. Oh, he apparently had, like, no health left. What is this thing? Oh, just a generic rock. I... Hmm. This path seems like it's probably something really bad that I can't recall. Oh, the Red Hall of Cages again. It's the way back from the Red Hall of Cages. We'll be getting there in good time, but not yet, because that place sucks. Red Hall of Cages is really mean. Like, I like it, but it is super hateful. <laughs> It just has a lot of traps and kind of tricky platforming, and all the enemies are really difficult. Oh, that would be good if I can equip it. I don't think I can... Nope, I need class 1 heavy armor. Can just be sticking with this whip. Guess we're going for like a whip greatsword build. 
kind of like the spear, but I don't know. I was not really... It wasn't really working out for the most part. Like, yeah, it's good range, but my whip already kind of has the range thing covered. So the sword kind of complements it better. Okay, right. The weird salt familiar that spawns. Okay, so... Heavy attack. Normal attack. Normal attack. And normal attack. Normal attack. Okay, yep, that's all it took to kill him. So much easier when I'm not double poisoned. What do you do? Oh. Okay. That's what you did. And now we're over here. Which was kind of right where I want to be. To make actual progress. It's debatable if I want to make actual progress right now. See, I can grab this from the side. It's just weird. There we go. That one right there is kind of an odd one to climb up on. So yeah, we're here now. Still can't open this door, I think. Oh wait, no, this is what the bronze key was for. Cool. Inside it was a satchel salt and an outlaw great axe. Not gonna be using that axe. I don't know if there's other doors to use the, um, key on. I assume there are. Okay, so this is kind of where platforming puzzles start getting a bit more serious. And platforming in general starts getting a bit more serious. So that stops us if we go down here. Or up here, I suppose. Hmm. Okay. I think that's just there to make it so that you can make yourself normal again if you want to go to the left. That's a death pit. Yep, Castle of Storms. This is kind of the end of the beginning, I guess, this castle. After this is where the game kind of opens up in a lot of ways and starts getting serious in a lot of ways. Um, also, this castle itself is no joke. As you can see from these horrible giant knights that do like tons of damage and have a billion health. And they're also oddly difficult to get a good hit in on, apparently. God, the shockwave is taking off half my health. Okay, you know what? Fine. I'm going to ignore you. If I remember right, these skulls are actually the um, main form of just hatefulness in this place, though. More than the giant knights. Oh, you're a bronze knight, aren't you? Yeah, you super are. Oh, right. Does this hurt him? Yes. Apparently it hurts him quite a bit, in fact, because he's dead already. Oh, more spells I'm not going to be using. Cool. Man, I really miss used having a mage build. Oh well, giant weapon is. Uh, there's something bad in this room, but I don't remember what. You. You're the bad thing. That green light really hurts if it hits. I think he has something else that's a lot worse than that more close-range attack. I think that guy also can follow me into this room. I don't remember. I do seem to think that this is where I need to go, though. I don't remember if there's anything on the left side. There's a door. Crap. Crap. And it's locked. Good to know. Good to know. OK, 
head. Don't think he can reach me all the way up here. Being a bit careful with it, even so. Oh, there's a guy up there. What do you have to say, guy? Oh, this is the guy on the quest from earlier. Yep, the dragon needs to be slain. We can drop down to this one. But I don't remember. I think... Is this a shrine? I don't remember if this is a shrine. Yeah, it is. Okay. We have claimed the sanctuary. Uh, let's make an offering of a guide, because, ooh, it's our last guide, but this is a good place for a guide. Uh, I could get a stone... Yeah, sure, let's get a stone alchemist. Let's see... I, I'm looking at the um, passive things they gave at this point. Attack bonus to Sanctuary Region. Salt bonus. Might just do a blacksmith and a leader here. Yeah. This area is going to be a part where we gain a lot of levels. And where we die a lot. Uh, in large part because of the boss. Okay, true skill. Oh, I do have two levels. I thought I only had one. Okay. Um, let's see. So if I want to continue down the path of swords... Swords are over here, and then rank three... No, that's dagger. Rank three sword is all the way here, which... Oh, okay. It's not that bad at all. Um, and then you could just keep going this way. I believe... After you get rank 5 sword, you can start doing great sword. Because see, that only gives me um class 4 great swords. Oh, actually it ends over there. I'm pretty sure there's um a class 5 great sword thing somewhere. I'm not sure where. Great hammers and great axes. Might be that great swords actually cap at um, four. No, they can't because great hammer and great axe cla uh, caps at five. Uh, unless they do. That would make them the only thing in the game that caps at four, though. I'd probably need to look into it. As it stands... Oh wait, no, that is two-handed. Okay, one-handed class 4 great swords and two-handed class 5 great swords. Oh, okay, so what this means is I can wield class 4 great swords one-handed with this, but class 5 great swords can only ever be two-handed. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, let's go over here. I'm going to be working my way up the hunter tree, especially because there's another um, poultice pouch around here. Also, I need to really start getting um, stamina up a bit. And hunter is pretty good for getting stamina up. As well as class 3 light armor. Need to actually start finding light armor before that makes a difference, but... Let's see, so let's transmute. Uh, I don't remember. Okay, so yes, this is how I upgrade things into entirely new weapons. So I could upgrade this into a martial flail, for instance. Or a searing manacle. But I need an amber idol for that one. 
Uh, let's see, those are the only two that I have access to at the moment. Arming sword can turn into lots of nice stuff. I need amber idols for a lot of this, though. For all the class 2-ish things, I guess. Uh, this can turn into... Oh, look, I need the Saw Knight's Ashes to upgrade this to a class 2 greatsword. And this thing is like a magic sword that scales with magic, so that's fun, but don't have that. Um, that's a big boost up in attack power. <sighs> Pretty bad scaling, scaling on it, though. What else we got for weaponry? We can get Trident. Or Breach Pike. Both these are just class 1. Let's see, and it looks like I can't change armor or anything at him. But if I can get a bit more salt, I'll be able to upgrade my whip into the tier 2 whip. Um, actually, you know what? I'll just do that now. I kind of wanted to hold on to the salt pack, but I guess I have the satchel of salt. I'm going to just use the pack, though. I don't think I have anything lower than that at the moment. Yeah, let's mold Mel. I have two bull whips, which is why I'm not worried about wasting this stuff to turn it into the class um, 1 whip right now, even though I have the class 3 whip. Well, the class 3 whip is pretty far away. I need 10,000 salt on top of the Amber Idol. I think the Amber Idols are after this place. I think they're in the Vet Hall of Cages or whatever. There we go, Martial Flail. I don't know if I can turn the Martial Flail into, like, entirely different things. No. Okay. I could turn this into... No, I need amber idols for both of those. Arming sword's the big one that I can upgrade, I guess. Um, do I want to turn it into a Varangian Spada? What's the current scaling? It has a lot of good deck scaling right now. That's part of it. So maybe I won't do that. Keeping something around that scales well is kind of nice. Now let's check out this whip. It's it, it's a vampire slayer or vampire killer or whatever. It is straight up a Belmont whip. I think the um lore even kind of is blatantly saying it. Uh, do, 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 do. Nope, never mind. Nothing arguing um about. Castlevania in this. Let's see. Any new combos? Nope. I can upgrade it though. So I may as well upgrade it a bit. Upgrade. Uh, this whip. Yep, with the lock of hair. Okay, so my previous upgrades do not carry over when you transmute, because now it's just a class 1 again. Ah, look at all those shields I would love to have. I've really not been changing this Hunter's Cloak stuff. Man, I'd need to really get heavy armor, class 1. Maybe I'll make that my priority. Where is Heavy Armor Class 1? I can't get it right this second, but I'll keep a lookout for it. Uh, Heavy Armor, Heavy Armor. Because it's odd, you'd think that um, the Hunter clothes would be light, uh, light armor, because all the light armor is kind of by the Hunter stuff, but... No, they're heavy, and all the like good gear I found is also heavy. Uh, light... Hmm. Not over. It's not going to be in the magic area. I can say that much. Light armor. Is it just this right here? There it is right there. Okay, I just need one point. 
That's not bad. Though I do think the um, higher classes of heavy armor are also heavier on top of being bare, so that will cripple my mobility quite a bit. And we have a nice little shortcut now. For when I inevitably die. Or if I just want to go back to the bandits pass. There's also an item over here that I don't think I can get quite yet. I think we need to meet that thief for me to be able to get that item. Because this castle is where we get a bunch of upgrades, or... Not really. We get the upgrade that I already have, the upside down upgrade from the Jester. And then we get another major upgrade from the thief. But it is odd that like the first few hours of the game don't have any of that. And then you start really getting quite a few around this point. Uh, I know that there are mimics in this place, which is why I'm a bit worried. Hey, the hunter stuff that I already have. I'm pretty sure there's mimics. Oop. Okay. Oh right, that's why he's annoying. He teleports. And he killed me. Man, this whip does not do good damage. At least not compared to the great sword, which I guess makes sense. It's a lot faster. But its damage is super low. I think part of it is also that the great sword doesn't have great scaling and um the whip does, so the whips start to get better um, as you start um, maxing out decks. Well, no, it actually has S class um, strength scaling. Never mind, the whips are just kind of mediocre compared to the great sword right now. I suppose it did take more work in terms of point investment to get this sword compared to that rank 1 whip. If I, did, if I had an Amber Idol, that would make this a lot better. Oh hey, a stone guide that I missed. That helps. I had to really back off and heal. There, he finally died. And I got a blessed page out off of him. That's good. I know where the main boss is places, but I don't remember if there's any bosses along the way to it. Oh, hey, I'm up to the next, um, mark already, I think. No, okay, I need to be able to actually talk to her. Which I can't do quite yet, because she's busy staying up there. Okay. If I do this, so I think I also activate this as a shortcut. Like, these are just gonna start doing this now. Yeah. I can't talk to her from down here, right? Yeah, no, nope. I need to get to her. Fair enough. Okay. And this room is... another shrine, really? Oh, I guess that makes sense, because this is on the opposite side of the other one. Like, I can't really get back to the other shrine, other than by taking that shortcut I just activated, so... I guess I can, actually, because yeah, it has a shortcut. I don't trust you. I don't remember how mimics work. I don't remember if you're allowed to slash them before they attack you. Or if they, you get like a brief amount of time uh, between the time you open them and the time they attack. Okay. This is scary. All of this is scary. Try to get good, thanks. Yeah, see that? That crap? That candelabra? That means there's a boss there that I'm not going to be fighting. No, don't pull yourself up to over there. Okay, we got the grasping ring. 
Okay, so I guess we do need to kill that boss to be able to talk to the thief. Um, I'm not going to do that right this second. I'm going to go back and cash in my salt to get heavy armor. Oh, no, 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 please go up before the skulls see me. Thank you. That hurt. But hey, we got a shield that I'm not going to be using. That's a really good... Oh, man, that shield's really good for this particular fight, too. Oh, that was a lot lower than I thought it was. <laughs> oh, wait, no, I need to go down there. What am I doing? I can't go back. I need to go this way, right? That's the whole point. Here. We're back into this, like, hub area, if you want to call it that. I hate these skulls. They're really annoying. There we go. Lots of ember skull ashes, though, that I do need for upgrading purposes. So I can't complain too much about them. Oh, high lightning trap. And we have this Impin Crest Ring. Oh, wait, you do. I don't remember. Defensive fire damage. That's going to be useful. Not right this second, but it'll be useful in the future. Can't get to that yet. Uh, do I want to just hop down? No. Oh, I need to. I need to take the fall damage. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, rolling let me do that without taking fall damage. Don't teleport into my face like that. It's very rude. So I haven't done, like, the right side of this castle at all yet. Okay. Okay, good. The skulls didn't see me. Come on. Grab the ledge. Oh, okay. Never mind, I can get that right now. Soldier's poem is... Oh, that was pain. Let's see, what does Soldier's Poem do? It's not salt. Let's equip this um, bottle in case I want to give things to people at any point. Oh, that Chef um, outfit I think is also going to be nice now that I think about it. Um, soldier's Poem, where are you? Okay, of course. Blacksmiths can use the poetry to upgrade a weapon. Oh, well. I grabbed the ledge, but that guy saw me, and yeah. That worked poorly. That Ember Skull in particular is going to be a real pain to get. Because he's in the room with the giant guy. Thankfully, there's not really that many enemies along along the way to him. Like, it's pretty much just this room and the one caster. And the caster is pretty easy to take down with this um, particular weapon, because it doesn't give him much time to do anything. Whip is probably actually pretty good for the skulls now that I think about it. They are Castlevania enemies after all. Oh, this isn't the way I want to go. The lower one is the right one. Which also has a lightning trap. Or no, it doesn't. Never mind. Okay, back away. Oh no, he just warped.
We got it here. Uh, why does it have to be you? Okay, that works. I'm worried because if that thing wants to, it can jump up and hit me, I'm pretty sure. There we go. Definitely a bit finicky. A lot of it is that you just need to trust that you'll grab it by kind of really lunging for it, and you probably will. What was over here? Oh right, this is the shrine. Only enough for one level still. Close to another level, but that's also all I need. Even though I'm going to be using the chef gear. Um, I'm probably upgrading the chef gear for that matter. Uh, no? Okay. Class 1 heavy armor. There we go. And class 2 heavy armor is right there. All the heavy armors are kind of all next to each other, I guess. Well, 4 and 5. 4 is kind of out of the way. Yeah, you need to go through a bunch of nodes to get to 4. But like, 2 is pretty close, and then... 3 is a bit far. But there's this, um, poultice near it. Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the chef armor set. Um, actually, let me double check that. Basically, I'm trying to max out on fire resist as much as I possibly can. Um, so that's 12, 19. Rogue has some pretty decent fire resist, actually. 24 so far is the um, best one for body armor. I wish I could sort this by armor type, but I don't think I can. Okay. Oh no, okay, Chef is poison resist. Really? I could have sworn Chef was fire because it's like an apron and everything. But no, I guess Chef is poison. Uh, oh, this crimson. It no, Yeah, crimson's pretty good. The pumpkin helmet I have is probably still the best for fire resist. This pumpkin helmet is just so good. <laughs> um, so I might switch over to this crimson stuff. Um, unless this is good. This is the class 1 heavy armor that I took that node for. This stuff is all holy defense. Uh, let's see, this is 21 fire resist. That's 29 fire resist. How much more does it weigh compared to my current thing, anyway? It weighs more because it's red, but how much more? Only one. Okay. So let's switch over to leather. Oh, that would have been a lot faster if I just did it that way. Right. I don't think anything has... Well, the crimson has more. And it weighs a lot less. Do I need strike and slash? Slash is the main thing that goes down from the crimson. I think I'm gonna switch over to crimson for now. Yeah. There we go. That's some good fire resist. Maybe I'll just keep upgrading this pumpkin. It's just so good. There we go, Ghastly Gourd, rank 3. I can even upgrade it again, um, if I get a little bit more salt, which I might do. I think I do eventually replace this with something, but it's gonna be a while. Like, they make you kinda go pretty far out of your way for this pumpkin. And it's worth going out of your way for this dumb pumpkin. I just really like it because you get, and it's like, oh, a joke I am, and it's like, oh no, this thing has amazing stats. Like, yeah, the slash and, um, stab resist or whatever, but not great. But everything else is, so that's fine. It's really good anti-magic.
Okay, let's just heal up. And time to upgrade the pumpkin one more time. I think this is the last time I'll be able to upgrade it for a while. Ghastly Gourd 4. That sounds like a bad Halloween movie. Yeah, I need a Lord's Orders for 5, which is not happening. How much faster am I now? Not really, because the sword weighs a ton. I do move noticeably faster when I have the whip. Sort of. Maybe I'm just imagining it. I really haven't put any points in endurance, which is what affects your um, equip load. Okay, I'm gonna... no. Oh. No, I'm not gonna try the boss yet. I'm gonna make my way over to that other shrine, though. And I'm gonna try the right side of this place. Hello. So this is Salt and Sanctuary. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna try the right side of this place. Of, like, that central hub. And then I'll try the boss. I'm not being the boss on the first try, I'm not being the boss on the second try, or probably the third try. Um, I'm not being this boss after quite a few tries, because this boss is one of the harder ones in the game. I don't quite even remember everything it does, but I remember it's painful. Um, I remember it has a lot of fire damage. I remember really liking that Phoenix Shield that I'm not going to use because this is a no-shield run. But you know. Did they add in new ones? Or are you just tired of doing them? Okay, so right side. I'll work my way down from the top, how about? Oh, cool, it's spell. That sounds like it would be really handy. Hmm. This is... Pretty sure there's a few nice things. Oh, right! You. Assassin. Die. I don't remember how... Oh, I remember how to get to that. That's called We Need to Get to the Thief. Which requires killing the boss. Uh, what's up here? Anything? No. Oh, there's this guy. That I can just kind of roll through. But it's locked. Right. This also requires the thief... I thought there was at least a few things on this right side that don't require the thief. Oh, an item that I just never picked up, I guess. Or no, I guess I killed an Ember Skull at some point. And didn't take the ashes. What's... Oh, you. May as well heal. That is a... Pressure plate for the trap. Thankfully, the armor I'm wearing has so much resistance to, like, all the elements that that trap doesn't really hurt that much anymore. Are there, like, secret things over here? No. Oh, that's another assassin. Okay. Stone blacksmith... Split manifers? What? I don't remember what those are. I honestly don't even know what a manifer is. Um, gauntlet! Okay, gauntlets of split swordsmen. Class 3 heavy armor. Oh, okay, that's not happening. Um, also doesn't have good fire defense. Really good strike and slash, but that's also not happening.
Okay. Anything else? Lots of ears. So many ears. Let's heal up. I really want to kill one of these guys. I might try killing this one. Ow. God, they turn around so quickly when they decide to go on the offensive, though. And I'm... I let myself run out of stamina. Okay. Nope, didn't mean to eat. Crap. This is bad because he's by the stairs, so it's a bit hard. My character will automatically want to go upstairs. Okay. Man, that is a lot of salt. That is, in fact, like a whole level of salt. <laughs> I forgot they gave quite that much. I want to cash in this level. I think I'm going to go cash in this level. It's like an endless cycle. Every time I decide to, um actually go fight the boss I get enough salt from a level for a level <laughs> well I did make a sanctuary so I guess you can say that I got one sanctuary crap I don't remember if any of these big guys like drop a key like if any of them are unique in that regard. I want to say maybe this one drops a key, actually. Okay, so drop down to here. And Sanctuary. Oh, right. I need to level up. If I kill the guy right below me, that would be enough for another level up. Like, that's kind of the thing with this place. The boss is really hard, and the enemies here give a lot of salt. So, it's really easy to just sort of want to keep going a bit more. Um, I am going to start making my way towards the Hunter node for real, though. Oh, I was going to try going for this one, but I didn't realize this was the Class 5 Assassin node, so that's not happening. Um... That's class 3 light armor node, which isn't bad. I kind of want... Yeah, willpower is going to be really nice, but I need 4 levels for that. So now I think I'm actually done on salt, even if I get enough for a level. At this point, um... 1 level is not really going to do much for me. Like, I need four levels, and I'm not going to grind up four levels right now. Unless I don't go for the Hunter node, but that's kind of the next one that I want. And the longer I wait to um, get it, the, long the more difficult it's going to be to, like, just accumulate four levels. Even though I'm just kind of using this great sword instead of using whips. Because, but that's largely because the early whips are really bad. Later whips are nicer, I think. I never really used them, but they seem nicer, and that's what counts. Look at all that just enough for a level salt. I went this way already, right? Oh! No, 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 no! That's... A cliff. I thought there was a wall there. <laughs> uh, I thought there was a wall there, and I was gonna try pressing on it to see if it was a secret. That's my fault for not using a torch. Thankfully, the salt spirit thing is right here. There, got all my salt back. Lost some money to the helpful cleric out in the middle of nowhere, but, you know. 
That's fine. Money is basically worthless. Only salt. Salt and nothing else. Oh. Uh, the bottle that told me to try getting good is gone. That makes me a bit sad. Um, so we're going to get fire resist up. I don't care about salt at this point. Uh, so grasping ring can go away. I don't think I need to worry about wounding. So maybe... I do have a lot. I don't think I need stamina. I don't think I need um arcane. This is only for casting. That's also casting. That I have that equipped already. Willpower up is stamina up. More stamina is good. Um So I think I'm set. The only one that I'd maybe want is the HP regenerating, but I have a pretty good healing item, so that should be fine. Um, where are these? Attack speed, limit surrounding, reach, and power. Ooh. I might want speed up. Attack power up is going to also be nice, but for this fight in particular, speed up, I think. Okay, let's go die a lot. It's a dragon. So as you can see, fire hurts. Oh, this sword really kind of wrecks it though. Being hit by a tail also hurts. Okay, I just need to get away from it. If I remember right, it starts picking up when it... Oh no, this is the part that I remember. I don't remember what it does, I just remember it hurts. Okay. Keep in mind, all this damage I'm taking with the fi from all this fire, that is with the best fire resist gear I have. Oh no. Crap. I was trying to roll through it, but I didn't have the stamina. Uh, like, I could try getting locks of hair to upgrade this um, because that one guy sells locks of hair oops didn't mean to use the sanctuary but it doesn't really matter so this is why that one shield is nice because that shield specifically has fire resistance on it um, and so you can block most of the fire this guy throws at you You'll still take a little bit of damage, but it won't be anywhere near as much as this. Yeah, I, I should roll. Yeah, stop, chop, and roll through the fire. That's probably what I need to do, actually, instead of trying to run away from him when he is flying. Like, in all seriousness. Um, ow. Come on, I want my salt back. Give me my salt. Give me salt. Uh, oh, he's dying all the way over there. I think I have enough room to dodge it. No, no, I don't. Oh, I was able to jump over it. Oh, come on. Okay, now I definitely have enough room to dodge it. Well, I got my salt back. Heal? Nope. I shouldn't have tried healing there. I knew it was a big risk. And Mysterious Cleric, you're taking quite a bit of gold. I mean, it's because I have quite a bit of gold, but still. Come on now. Yeah, like, the 
alternative is I can try upgrading this gear. Which... Mm, honestly, it would only take around like 5 or 10 minutes. I'm gonna give this one... I'll, I'll give this two more tries before I bother upgrading, though. Oh, I dodged that through sheer chance. Jumping and hitting him is a pretty good way to dodge a lot of his attacks, honestly. I think hitting his face, um, stuns him. Ah, oh, crap, I thought I was high enough. No, that's bad on my part. If we can die, no. I'm just kind of trapped in the corner right now. No, finally found a way to get around him and he end, ended up flying. Nope. Okay. Well, now I'm not trapped in the corner at least. Oh, I thought that was going to be the tail. I guess this... Great sword is really good because it's one of the few weapons that's strong enough to stun him. Like when I was doing this with a um, dagger, he pretty much never stunned from what I remember, just because he doesn't take that much damage from it. Okay, he's gonna do the dive bomb. Oh, that is my last heal. Okay. Oh, I might have this. Crap. Okay, this is so much easier with a great sword. Come on. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah, that fight is a lot easier with a great sword. Sixteen thousand salt. I feel like I was worrying for nothing, but I remember that fight taking a lot of tries. But now we just casually drop down and don't die. The important thing here is to not die. And we can meet our thief friend. Hi, thief friend. Let's take this stuff first. Okay. Of the dragon's dead, yeah. Yep, just burning our hand again. Just. There we go, we got the Shadow Flip brand. And Shadow Flip means wall jump. And this opens up quite a bit. Impin's Charm. What does that do? Adds fire damage. Oh, that seems pretty good. I'm gonna go back down here because this is where the um, actual sanctuary is I can level up from. Wall jump in this game is pretty nice in that it'll give you a second to actually make sure you want to wall jump and stuff. Oh right, there's enemies here still. I'm going to just ignore all of you. And hope that works out. It seems to have. Almost didn't work out. And that was four levels, so I can actually get Hunter rank four right now. Uh, it is tempting to just go greatsword, but I want to believe in the whip. I want to believe that whips can get good. <laughs> I really don't know, because I never really used them. <laughs> can I upgrade this into something even better now? Ooh, I can turn into a steel centipede if I have an amber idol. Uh, let's see. Phoenix tail sounds good. That uses the, um... I, am. Um, the boss I am from that dragon that I just killed. And also a Shimmering Pearl, which I think is the top tier 
thing. It's a class 5 sword whip. Which requires class 5 sword whip and class 1 magic. Uh, so yeah, this searing manacle is still the best thing I can make. Which seems like it probably has um, fire damage. Though um, steel sanity does sca um, scale with dex. And the damage isn't split between attack and fire. Actually, Steel Sanipede might be stronger for me, just due to, um, scaling, if I put more points in decks. As for this... Mm, I could turn it into this thing, which has way worse scaling than the weapon it currently is. That's kind of the thing, this is a pretty good greatsword to begin with. Um, I'm going to not equip this armor anymore, because I don't really need fire. See, class 1 heavy. Man, that is... I guess the advantage is that gives more balance. I kind of like my hunter stuff still. Let's see... I'm going to change into the hunter stuff and then see how everything goes from there, I guess. Like, that's a lot of green numbers, but it's a lot of resistance numbers to specific types of elemental damage. Whereas Strike and Slash is pretty much all physical damage, so those numbers do matter more, in a way. Uh, let's see, slightly less Strike, or slightly less Slash, way more... No, slightly less Strike, way more Slash. Um, yeah, let's go for Leather. Leather also has a bunch of other upgrades over the Hunter stuff. There we go. And now I would like to find a way to get to that I am over there. Which I believe requires wall jumping. Um, or just opening this door. Which I can, with that jagged key. Oh! God, you're actually following me out. Okay, let's... Let's deal with all of this one enemy at a time. Because this is a lot to deal with now. Oh, didn't mean to use that. That's what I want to use. I'm going to need to deal with the knight. Because he'll just follow me out there forever. Trap. The good news is if I die to him, it's not really an issue because he's right here. If I die to him twice in a row, it becomes an issue, because then my salt will be lost. Where'd he go? Did he... Oh, he's out there. How are you even fitting through that door, Knight? Stop that. Ow. He should be almost dead. They have a lot of health, but I'm doing a lot of damage. He's dead. Very sparkly. If I go here... This is pretty scary. Grey Pearl, that was totally not worth it. I can level up, at least. If nothing else, getting the um, additional willpower from um, Hunter Rank 4 kind of makes it worth it. Four points of willpower is a significant boost. And here's even more willpower right here. And a giant glob of other stuff. Yeah, like, the hunter armor is heavy, but all the light armor is what's by the hunter stuff, which is just so odd. That's class 5 light armor. And that's marksman. All the marksmen are in this, like, one little kind of spiral here. Let's see. Where is an easy poultice upgrade? I think there's one, like, around here somewhere. Not that one. Um, that's actually pretty far away. 
There was one around here. I'm almost positive of it. Oh, it must have been this one I was thinking of. That's by the heavy armor. Never mind, it's not that close after all. Class 3 sword is over here. I'll start going for the class 3 sword. Either way, I'm getting willpower. So I can't really complain that much. Um, I think there's also a poultice by it. Nope. Like, I have a decent amount of them. I'm at six healing items per um, shrine. This little side path into magic over here is kind of good for one, but it's still four points. Um, and three of those points are basically useless to me. This is probably the best one, just because I kind of want light armor anyway. But for now, we're done up here, and we can start going down here. There's also some stuff near the beginning of the game that I can get now, but I can just warp there with a guide, so not overly concerned about picking up right this second. I'd rather make a bit more shrine progress first. Okay. Ooh, a pitch fire. Well, that makes up for the one I wasted before on the um false jester that he seemed to have a lot of um, fire resist because it didn't do any noticeable um, additional damage to him. Gotta kill this guy one more time, because now I can grab this, which is the mask for that set. More stuff I'm not going to use. But the big thing is I need to go down here, because this is the actual way forward. Oh, wait. I want to go back to the shrine fast, because I want to talk to that guy. I'm not going to use the shrine, so I'm not going to need to deal with these enemies again. But I do want to talk to that guy, because, um, you know, his whole thing was, oh hey, there's a castle and dragons need to be slain and whatnot. And now I've kind of done that. And now he has nothing left to do. I think he's going to comment on that. I do legitimately like the, um, lore and overarching plot of this game. It's actually a pretty fully realized world in a lot of interesting ways. So may as well show her off. Oh, he's moved on already. Okay, never mind. I think that we'll be seeing him on the other side of the castle in that case. Don't ask how he got there or any other such questions, but he's there now. Oh, what are you doing all the way over here? I'm actually running a bit low on um, healing items at this point. Especially- oh, okay, this is where I need to go. Invert! So, it's teaching me that I can use my abilities in tandem. Oh, hey, it's this guy. The guy that sells locks of hair and whatnot. I don't know if he sells better stuff in this location. Good for you, trinket guy. Okay, he sells poems and hateful jawbones now. Cool. And all these hev this heavy armor. And class 3 light armor. Which is actively worse than, like, my class 1 light armor in a lot of ways. Like, to the point where this one's just straight up worse? <laughs> Other than weight? Weird. Like, these are good for strike defense and arcane. But otherwise... Oh, that's why this is the helmet, I think. And I have this rank 4 pumpkin helmet. That's why it's worse. Um, okay. 
that makes it a bit better then, because it's a ton of arcane damage. Or arcane resist, rather. Um, an arcane resist would be nice for the upcoming area. So I could drop a bunch of money on this. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna drop a bunch of money on this set. How many torches do I have? I have seven torches. Uh, I can afford to buy, like, five more. Uh, these are the big things. <coughs> Sorry. Can't take some more. Uh, I think that we'll be getting Hateful Jawbone soon enough. Locks of hair are important, though. I want one more soldier poem. There, we've actually burnt through a good chunk of our money. That's not the only thing up here, though. Uh, can I go up? No, I think that's just the ceiling, right? This is the thing that's actually up here. And here we go. We're just gonna run from the salt from the giant knight. That's a cane of some sort that I'm probably not going to be making use of. I don't know if there's a secret passage somewhere. There might be. Uh, kind of scary to be this close to him. Thankfully, he can't go through platforms the way I can, so I am safe from him now. What's all this? Oh, oh it's Scarecrow! Hi, Scarecrow. I forgot you were here. No, I'm not interested in you. Bye, Scarecrow. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is the um, Red Hall of Cages or whatever coming up. And you can see that's going to be a happy fun time from all these corpses. Um, it's either that or a different place. It's one or the other. Uh, since there's spikes, I'm banging on Red Hall of Cages. Yep, hi Red Hall of Cages. Uh, thankfully, if I remember right, we don't need to go through all of this right now. Um, so this place is just made of hatred in a lot of ways, though. Um, I think we're just fossing through it, and we can choose to continue through it more thoroughly, but we don't have to, and if I can get out of this place now, I will, because, um, it's tough. It has stuff like this, like this lovely archer on a platform that I can't really do anything with unless you have a ranged attack of your own. If you want to give, like, a Sense Fortress comparison, this is it. Through and through. Um, just lots of very mean things all over the place. Actually, I think I can jump onto that platform and make that jump. I'm gonna try for it because there's a shiny now. Because I killed the guy and he dropped th something. Oh, he dropped some of the bolts that I tossed into his flesh. Fair enough. I don't remember what you do. I remember you're painful. Get away from it. This um, added fire damage seems to be working out well here, though. I'm... Oh, I didn't actually read what that said. I didn't realize it was a bottle. So I need to be able to go upside down to reach that stuff, I think. Yeah, this is just a place full of lovely torture equipment and all that stuff. Ow. Hi, Red Hall of Cages. How are you today? At least the trek back there isn't really that long. Oh, I didn't, I didn't um, save at the other shrine. The slightly closer shrine.
I'm going to go ahead and make my way to that shrine and do that. Um, if I remember right, there is a shrine relatively early on in the Red Hall, but I'm not entirely certain on that. If I remember right, um, later on there's a secret shrine um, that you can miss, and that sucks. Um, and the reason it's a secret is because it's part of a secret faction. Um, and that fashion, uh, fashion, faction is, um, itself pretty bad, but you can join it if you really want to. I believe the, um, deal with the faction that's hidden in the Red Hall of Cages area is that they really like gold. So they give you a lot of things that increase gold drop, which, um isn't really all that important, and this isn't the way I want to go. I want to go up here and get that shrine before I skip it again. Staying on track while talking is hard. I should probably get rid of this crest. This, the Red Hall does not actually have much of the way of fire damage because the red refers to blood. It's so edgy. Uh, what else is there though? Okay, there's the health regeneration ring. Okay, I'm kind of happy with this setup. Lots of kind of early game rings, but they're good. Just because you find them early doesn't make them any worse than the later ones. going to be a hassle, aren't you? They're not that bad. This giant knight is the one main possible source of trouble. Okay, and he's gone. I'm missing a little bit of health, but I'm not going to heal that just yet. I do like that the theme for this place is just spikes everywhere. Oh! He poisoned me. Oh no, it's the archer up top that's poisoning me. I need to not get hit by more arrows. Crap! Uh, he got me at the last second. Oh, is he still actually hitting me? You need to die. Um, I need to just really spam healing until this poison goes away. Uh, poison, go away already. Okay, finally. I forgot that this place has poison. Now that I think about it, I think this place might be very heavy on poison, even. Or at least the archers. I. I think there's a lot of archers, and all the archers have poison. Oh, I didn't even notice this blending in with the background right here, but this is a turn upside down stone. Um, let's see, I want to go to the left first. I seem to recall there might be something good in the room to the right, but I also seem to recall that's a kind of tricky room. I think um, the gimmick there is that there's enemies that are the normal way up, and I need to fight them from on the ceiling. Yep. I guess they do have fire. Okay. And then I'm eventually going to come across something to, um... Okay, yeah, this is going to put me the right way. Oh, hey, the Jester is over there. Or the Fool or whatever. Hello. Aren't you a cheerful Jester? 
Okay, that's the last he has to say. Hey, there's items. Well, and I am. Anything else up here? I don't think so. Nope. Mostly just him and that crystal sphere that is potentially useful. Anything over here? Nope. Okay, let's go get all that stuff. I really thought there was a mimic in the um castle. I'm pretty certain that this game has mimics. I don't remember where they start appearing though, because I really thought it was the castle. It might be a certain arcane heavy area after the castle. Uh, let's see, my salt. The guy that got my salt was to the left, so... Let's kill him. Oh, okay. Right, he has the salt, so he has extra health. I don't really want to go to the left right now, because I'll get more poison damage. Horrible things are going to be over here. Oh, it's a shrine. Never mind. There's good things over here. I was this close to a sanctuary. Tree of skill. There's a point of dex. So, there's class 3 sword fire, and I'm slowly making my way to class 5 hunter. Um, but the real thing that I should be saving up for is um, class 3 leather armor so that I can equip that armor that I got. And if I go to the right here, I think this is the way out of the Red Hall of Cages. Yep, it is. Here's um, this guy. The dragon was slain. Yeah, you weren't there. So, we kind of completed his quest for him, so he's just decided to um, pick up a new one. He's also giving us tips on where places we can go. And either or is fine. We could go to the dungeon or the ziggurat. I think we don't need to do both of them. I think one or the other, but... Obviously, the best course of action would be to do everything, um, in large part because, you know, then you're properly leveled and have more gear and whatnot. The Dome of the Forgotten. That is the area that I was thinking of that has a lot of arcane damage. What else do you have? It's less terrible than the Dome. So that's kind of the tip that, hey, maybe you should go to the um, Red Hall of Cages instead of the Dome, but I think I'm going to go to the Dome. Also, I think that there's something that leads... This is a one-way door over here. That, well, a door that I can only initially open from the other side at any rate. I'm going to head to the Dome. It is a bad idea. But let's do it. I really don't remember if there's any enemies on this path. I really don't trust it though, so I'm just kind of doing this every step of the way. Okay. Thanks, Bottle. You were useful. Okay, so we have another split in the path here. Ooh, I think that those are, um, punching weapons, maybe. Oh, wait, no, that was just a hat. That's what that was. A hat that's not going to be as good as my pumpkin. Because we have so many levels in it. Uh, where was it? I think it was a hat? Maybe it was gloves. Okay, it's gloves. I can wear them. They have 
very good sla strike defense and arcane and holy and atrocious everything else. Oof. Yeah, that's... There is, like I said, there's a lot of arcane damage in that place. But I don't know if I necessarily want to bother with it. Um, because I don't know if there's strike damage. I know that there's arcane. Like, that's given. Um... I'm just really not sure what the other damage counts as, and going down to zero strike defense is a pretty major thing. I don't know what this path is. Um, oh, right, the Rune Temple. We can't get here yet. But, um, Rune Temple is kind of our end goal. For the time being, at least. Is kind of the current equivalent of what the castle was of like the thing the game tosses at you that kind of makes you want to go into it and you'll kind of get pushed towards it here and there so yeah we're just saying goodbye to the red hall of cages for now you are mimic yes right i forgot that mimics are this horrifying <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty horrifying for a Mimic. I knew it. I knew there were Mimics. <laughs> this is gonna be tricky. So how much do you like Yoku blocks from Mega Man? Because that's basically what this is, except kind of more awkward. But we do have a shrine. I am going to claim it. Um, and I'm going to make an offering of a stone guide right here, because this is a pretty good place for a guide. Um, don't really need anyone else. Probably Alchemist for the Magic Resist wouldn't be bad to place here. Let's see, who else? Fire Potency I don't need. Shield Block I don't need. My Attack Up is always good. Like, the thing is, it's not like the blacksmiths get any better as it goes on. And I can always just warp to one that has a blacksmith with the guide. Oh, an Amber Idol. Our first one. So there's all sorts of things I can make with that. Um, I could make this Hellfire Arbalest. But that would lock me out of a few other items I would rather like. I also need 10,000 salt, which, admittedly, I am halfway th there. I I'm not going to make it either way, because I don't think I'm going ranged. Um, there's the Black Widow. There's this thing, uh, which is probably pretty good, other than the fact that the scaling is garbage. Um, there's all these things I could upgrade. I wouldn't mind making this... Oh no, that has magic scaling. Scaling's important. Though this has magic scaling too, I guess. They both do. This one is probably the one I actually want to make. Um, I don't know why it says... Oh, it's attack down compared to my greatsword. Let's see attack down compared to my actual weapon. Um, yeah, that's a lot more attack power. What else can I make, though? This can, I can turn into Tai Chi, which is okay. I can make a breach, breach pike with that. 
I think I'm gonna go for turning this into a um steel centipede though. I'll turn the normal bull whip into the steel centipede. That way I still have a non sword whip whip as it were. Um Yeah, let's do it. No regrets. And the only thing I could turn this into would be the phoenix tail that I don't really want. Okay, so... This thing is upgraded to level 1, whereas this one's not. It's still an attack upgrade though, apparently. Can I just get rid of this? I don't think I can two-hand. Oh, I guess I can two-hand a whip. Huh. Is that different from one-handing it? Not really? But I assume it's more damage. Okay, steel centipede. Okay, less damage at the start. Oh, that's because it scales with strength, and I haven't really been upgrading decks that much. But let's try this. So, it looks like a normal sword, sort of, but I believe it does turn into a, um, whip, depending on how you use it. It might be that you need to one-hand it. Let's see, I forget how to do the, um... Okay, I guess the special turns into a whip. Or, um... Okay, I see. So my heavy attack is a whip, and my normal attack is a sword when I'm one-handing it. Um, but if I two-hand it, then all of my attacks treat it like a sword. Which is kind of weird. I think it's better to one-hand it and keep an offhand ranged weapon then. Um, and since I do have an alchemist here, I am going to make a blacksmith. Because it, this is a place where I'm going to be making new stuff. I'd like to be able to upgrade the new stuff. Let's upgrade this, in fact. Uh, where is it? There it is. With a lock of hair. I could also probably upgrade this. I should probably upgrade the sword that I've been using a whole lot. Yeah, upgrading the great sword is a higher priority at this point, I think. Like, I have been actively avoiding turning it into something else for a while now. Um, okay, I just need to, like, fight anything to get enough salt. Okay, there's nothing over here, apparently. That's just not a dead end. Okay, here we go. Oh, right. There's invisible enemies, I forgot. I think that there's a way to detect them, but I forget what it is. It might be that there's a spell, actually, which, you know, I won't be able to use because no magic run. So that's gonna be interesting. Get up there. Nope. Okay, I avoided fall damage at least. And I got a flintlock pistol. That's probably a lot better than this crossbow. Maybe? Yeah. 
that's a lot better than this crossbow. Oh, you can see them. Okay. They also make a distinct sound. This sword is kind of really nice, though. Hmm. I thought I could see them, maybe not. I think I was just seeing the smoke from this flame it kind of worked out. And I think that sound is just this guy flying over here. Well, that was all a bunch of big coincidences, I suppose. Crap. Heal. Man, the damage is low. How much damage does this do to this guy? 30-something. Or no, 24. Okay. So this seems better for the invisible guys, because there's a lot of them and they're all weak. Whereas the sword is better for the flying. I don't trust this. I don't trust you. Okay, it's real. Scorpion gear. Which I think is cloth? Light armor? No, it is very heavy armor. Wow, okay. You might also notice these, like, translucent cloud blocks. Not gonna be able to use them yet. Like, when this game starts handing out upgrades, it really starts handing out upgrades. Okay. Okay, you're real? Merchant gear. Probably has some sort of defense against something in particular. It seems like it's decent. That's really good strike defense for light armor. Can't really say anything else about it, though. Just seems all around decent from strike defense. And, um, holy, I guess? And Oh, arcane, actually. That is really good arcane. Not as good as this mildewed chemist, but... Oh, you're here. Can we not? Can't just run from that shockwave. Ow, that hurt a bit. Just gonna let that burn him. He really doesn't seem to know how to react to this, so... Gonna abuse it. Let's see, there is a checkpoint that I can open up somewhere. I just don't quite remember where. It's on the bomb, because that's where that one locked door was. If I remember right, it's a real pain to get to. I also do want to go up eventually, because there is a boss up there. Oh boy. Oh no, that's bad timing. Oh, I didn't die. That was luck. Okay. I kind of guessed at there being invisible people somewhere on this platform and it worked out. I will kick up here. I can. Ow. Man, they really hurt. Any more? Okay, I've just made my way back to where I died. Or where I fell, not where I died. Uh, okay, make my way down.
And bridle. No, I don't think it is toast. Oh, I see them over there, though. Oh, wow. Oh, he jumped over here. I didn't realize they could cross platforms like that. I think that was the last of them. I'm gonna use these red shards. They're really bad healing items, but they're better than no healing. Because I'm pretty close to, um... the checkpoint. I forget if I need to actually kill a boss or not for the checkpoint, which... W would be very unfortunate, but I do recall that being a boss room. Uh, hug the right wall, how about... I think this might be a shrine? Yeah, okay. It's a crap, like, half shrine. That doesn't really count all the way, because I can't summon people here, but... It's a shrine. Oh. And it's a shrine right over a death pit. Of note. <laughs> well, it's... Somewhat a death pit. It's a pit that won't be a death pit the moment I can cross that cloud stuff. Please die already! Oh, he actually killed me. That's not good. The bronze armor with my salt is not good. I don't really care about the missing salt so much as I care about the fact that he has it because that's going to power him up. Oh, wrong guy. I want this. I also want to be careful not to go into the boss room while kind of trying to evade him. Well, there goes 13,000 salt. And he's still powered up. Don't know where that 1,760 salt came from. Oh, there must have been invisible guys. Yeah, the invisible guys just killed me, I think. No? Okay. So what I'm going to do, because that salt is giving him a bit of an upgrade, is I'm going to just go... Oh no... I wonder if you get enough health if you can actually survive that fall. I don't think you can. I think it's just a death pit, no matter what. Because it's very high, but... Maybe? Anyway, I killed a bunch of the invisible guys. Uh. Any more invisible guys? No. Flintlock. Go away. So, that hurt, and it sucks to lose all that salt, but now I don't need to deal with him on the way to the boss ever again. Uh, so this is not the main boss in this place, um, but it's a boss. I don't remember if he's hard or not. I think I remember having a bit of trouble with him. He does something later in the fight. He doesn't have much health, as you can see. I think that's largely because he does more than just what he's been doing. I don't know, kind of forcing myself to use this great sword instead of my normal fast weapons has kind of worked out 
so far, because it turns out that great swords are really good. <laughs> Using daggers definitely seems like it might be hard mode for this game. <laughs> Don't you do something else? Do you have a second phase? I feel like it has a second phase. The boss music isn't stopping. No? Okay. I guess I was wrong. Man, I don't remember how long getting to this point took me my first time through, but I can say it was definitely longer than this has taken. Um, I'm going to go on the left side now and cash in the 17,000 salt that I have. Uh, actually, I'm going to level up some stuff first. Let's upgrade this um, lovely sword with 1,000 salt. There, rank 3. And I'll upgrade my Steel Sampede as well. I'm going to be using this thing for a while, I think. Okay, now I'm going to cash in levels. Yep, there we go. Anything new from killing the um, Inquisitor? I think I got a new item from him, right? Yeah, the Untouched Inquisitor's Ashes. Uh, saltless Ashes can be used to make a cane. Look at all these canes. There's a lot of um, good mage items in this game, too. The Dragoon Espingol sounds really cool. That is quite a bit of damage. Worse scaling, but much higher default damage, so... Uh, nothing new for that. Uh, nothing new for that either. Let's see. Looks like that one thing was the only... Oh, no, I can make a new um, pole axe. Not spear, a pole axe, which does have really good deck scaling. Wow. From a diamond cluster. Don't know where to get one of those. And the normal sword just turns into standard stuff. Oh, there's this from the Whis Whisper Man Ashes, but that's a um, magic sword. Like, just seeing how all these different swords scale, you can kind of see why Sword Mastery is oddly really good. Because there's just so many. Like, it fits any build. Yeah, that is the lower half of the dome. We do still have an upper half to worry about. Not really half, I think it's just a boss. Um, I'm not sure if I can get up to him yet, though. I think if I go this way, he might. I might be able to get to him from here. Hi, Invisible! So, right, I forgot that there's mage versions of the Invisible guys. Also, another Bronze Knight. So yeah, okay. It is like another half, I guess. Because this climb is very much a part of it. Oh, yes, finish. No, oh, but I can't actually... Okay, maybe I can't do this yet? Or, no, I can after I make it all the way. Um, I'm going to cash in this level again, though. Because with this, I'll be able to get the heavy uh, light armor upgrade. Because that'll be three levels. Also, walking around with this much salt when there's a shrine this close is kind of crazy. Like, why would I do that? I can level up 
right here. Chief skill. I have four levels worth, right? Okay, well, definitely want light armor. Uh, let's see, I don't like crossbows, but I do like pistols, so I might bother trying to get rank 5 marksman. Uh, doing this would put me right up to the um, final hunter level as well. I think I'm not going to bother with hunter 5 until I get an inappropriate whip for it, though. Because I don't know if that one, like, mage whip is the only level 5 whip. See, rank 3 sword fire is pretty close, but that's more strength scaling. I kind of want to be more dexy in some ways, even though I'm using a great sword. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, that was a lot of stat points. Now to actually make my way up here and kill that invisible mate. Oh, I thought he was on the next platform. Well, crap. Wow. Damage? High. Okay, that must be the arcane damage. Oh, you respawn? You respawn. Cool. Not dealing with you. Okay. I want that item. But it's a bit hard to get. Um, I don't really have much to lose, so I can try for it. Nope. Failed. Failed very hard. That's okay. I forget if there's an easier way to get that item. I might be able to loop around to it in some other way, or I might need to just do some sort of wall jump in a certain location. Oh, File of Undersight. That's what lets you see them. Crap, have I gone... Oh, I have freaking seven of these things. Yes, File of Undersight. There, now I can see the invisible guys. I should have been paying attention to that. Oop. I should also be able to make this jump. So yeah, this is the things I've been fighting this whole time. Look at all them. Right there. And there's the salt demon. I really, I really forget how to get to that properly. I think there's a trick to it. But I don't remember what said trick is, so I'm just going to ignore it for now. Because this way is the way to progress. This is that elevator that I couldn't quite reach before. And now we can. I think this is the second boss up here already. Yeah, this is looking like the boss room. There's the candles. It's a chimera. This guy I think has poison. Oh, or no, he has electricity, doesn't he? Uh, I remember this one being a pain. Yeah, this is going to be a pain. Ow. Ow, that melee attack hurts. If I remember right, this pretty much is the way the fight goes. That he doesn't really... He's pretty easy to evade, but you get punished pretty badly if you fail. Also, it's kind of hard to roll through him. I don't know if you even can roll through him, unless he's um, doing the lightning attack. Nope. 
Yeah, he punishes some um, failure pretty hard. Oh right, he also sometimes shoots out that dumb orb. Which is definitely worse than the other one. So they're both pretty bad. Yep, and he does poison. Okay. I'm out of my main healing item, so I'm probably gonna die. Yeah, he's getting a lot meter now. Okay. That's not too bad. I do like the boss music in this game. Even if it's not, like, unique to every single boss. Um, it's a good song. File of Undersight, or File, whatever. Um, let's see, so I think I'm going to make it up to him and then put some electricity resistance gear on, which I think is just arcane. Uh, if I can make it up to him. Nope. Okay. I had to get the shiny. <laughs> Oh, the freaking Whisper Man did the killing blow. Not even the Bonds Knight. Like, is there a difference between Arcane and Lightning? I honestly don't remember. Um, oh, there is. Okay, so I was thinking Arcane, but it's Lightning that I actually needed. Not the end of the world. I probably have some good Lightning resist somewhere. Oh, right. Forgot to pop that. I'm going to just outrun them. Now I can kill the Whisper Men on their own. I don't remember if that's even anything good down there. I think it's not. Which is kind of the worst part of that, despite being kind of really hard to reach. So this is the way to go if we want um, to progress in this direction. Like, the Red Hall of Cages is also entirely valid. There's nothing wrong with going that way. Um, let's see, what has good lightning resist? Apparently not this. Uh, my best lightning resist is probably the crimson stuff maybe again? Uh, the scorpion stuff is really good, but that's class four heavy armor that I'm not close to being able to use. So let's go ahead and use the crimson. Crimson kind of pulls its weight. The downside is that my strike resist is going down. Um, and this guy does have a lot of striking and slashing. I don't know if it's strike or slash. But it's melee at any rate. So this kind of protects me from his worst attacks. But kind of makes it uh, makes his normal attacks a bit worse. Like, that would have killed me right now if I didn't have this Crimson stuff on. Killed me anyway, because I wasn't expecting him to do it again, so I tried to get some space, but... Okay. Like, right now, the alternative is to go to the Red Hall of Cages, and from there, I could potentially, um... gain enough levels to equip rank 4 heavy armor. But I don't think I'll be doing that. Also gonna need to start picking up the drops these guys give. 
because I'm a bit low on the unseen files or whatever. There's the third one. I didn't want to go up until I was sure they were all dead. Okay. Any rings I want to change around. I don't need the grasping ring anymore, I guess. Oh, hey, lightning damage up. Oh, we're lightning resist up ring. Uh, what is this? Bright coral. Yeah, and then these three are fine. I might also want to just give myself raw attack power up. Yeah, let's do that. Attack power up. The charms don't make a huge difference, but it's noticeable. Oh, he actually pushed me forward enough. I need to get closer. Oh, crap. Come on, one more hit. Not on me. Okay. Uh, this is around when he's going to start using his much worse attacks, I think. Yep. Well, that's not any worse than usual, but... That one is. That, like, close-range shock kind of really sucks. Oh, and I have minor poison. I'm going to need to heal. Uh. The close range one is really bad because he really doesn't give you much time to react to it. He just kind of does it. Eat. Die. No. Good. Oh, that was kind of a bit close. It seemed like I was pretty much safe for a while, and then he started actually comboing me a bit. Probably gonna be calling a stream soon. But hey, we have, um, this guy. All these... All these things. Okay, well, I'm glad you were drawn to this dome. No, I haven't heard of hard light. Crystallized moonbeams. Mm hmm. And there's a brand for it, because of course there is. Why, yes, I would like that brand. And there we go. We can now interact with crystallized moonbeams. You're making so much change, yes. By giving a random stranger a brand. Wait. I forget how to actually interact with these, apparently. Oh, do I need the torch on? Oh. Okay. Oops. <laughs> Almost died. Oh, you know what? I, I was going to make my way back to the shrine, but no. We're not risking um, 23,000 salt. <laughs> we're just going straight back. Also, alchemist guy. Anything new from killing um, that thing, perhaps? No, not on that. Not on that. Nothing there. Let's see, it's what, the third lamb is its name? So none of these. 
It's probably going to be a... I think he makes the dagger. The, um, like, tier 5 dagger. If I remember right. I could make this new gun. I do have the amber idol for it. Not really using this idol on anything else right now. I'm gonna be getting more of them, so... Yeah, let's make this gun. It scales slightly worse than my current gun, but it has much better default stats. And there we go. New gun. Just looking at um, the shields I could potentially make. Mostly this Umbral Aegis, it seems, is the one that I can turn any given shield into. Do you have any, like, normal talking points? No. Okay. Three levels. And almost enough for a fourth. Uh, let's see... I do believe I want to go to class 3 sword fighting. Um, let's, there's heavy armor somewhere nearby. There's class 2 heavy armor. Which does lead to this. But the issue is that class 2 isn't doing anything for me, it's class 4. And class 4 is really far away. Uh, so I think I'm going to just go for the class 3 sword fighting and take the um, thing that is probably going to be more immediately useful. Yep, there we go. That also kind of branches off into a whole bunch of other areas. Uh, I guess I could also take this away, maybe, this one strength point, because it's not really... I'm not really going for pole arms anymore. Uh, but then what would I even put into? I mean, I guess this strength point instead. Or put a bit closer to the heavy armor so that I can get one step closer to getting this potion. Which is also a point of strength. Yeah, let's do that. So remove this. And put this here. Yeah. That seems about right. Now I'll get Heavy Armor 2, and then Augman Endurance, Strength, and the Poultice Pouch. And that'll probably be the last Poultice Pouch I get for the game until, like, maybe this one all the way over here. Uh, because everything else is really far out of the way. Um, none of the other ones are close to my stuff. Unless I go down the magic route for that one, which is like, what, four levels for a single pouch? Which again, isn't really bad. Um, it's just, there are other things I want to use those four levels for right now. This one's also on the way to the light fo class 5 light armor. But yeah, I think that's going to do it for tonight's stream. We, um, we had a good chunk of progress. We beat the castle and we beat the stone. And now we can make our way to the Ziggurat, or to the um, Red Hall of Cages, and it's probably going to be the Ziggurat. Um, but yeah, that's it for now, so thanks for watching.